Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. I'm here at Walmart again early so we can have some peaceful shopping because I really liked how that went last week. Um, so I just took my kids to school. We are going to go in here to Walmart and do our Ibotta haul for this week. And I'm pumped about this week because I have two different bonuses. I'm not sure if I'm going to complete the midweek moneymaker. It's $5 for 18 offers and I've already done three. So I have 15 left. I don't know if we're going to do 15 today, but I'm going to try. The bonus that I'm excited for is the here for the snacks bonus. That one expires tomorrow morning. So we're going to finish that up today. It is $10 for 22 offers and I only have seven offers left on that one. So we are definitely completing that $10 bonus today. Now, if you are new to Ibotta or any of the apps that we're going to be using today in Walmart, I definitely recommend signing up. I will have them linked below. Um, like Ibotta, Fetch Rewards, Shopkick, Swagbucks, all of these apps are totally free to sign up and to use, um, and we use them a lot, especially at Walmart. So I definitely recommend downloading those. But let's go ahead and go in here to Walmart and get some deals. <music> Okay, so the first deal I'm not going to be able to do because my store doesn't carry this yet. It's a newer product, but you're looking for the Nivea Sensitive and Radiant Lotion. They should be priced at around $5.84. We do have a $2 off one coupon still from the $1.30 save, so you'd pay $3.84 for it. Then get back $3 on Ibotta, making it just $0.84. Cents. Next up, we have a nice freebie on the Degree Body Wash. Now, at first, I thought that this was going to be for the smaller bottles, and I got really excited because those are on clearance. This one right here, it's the 16 ounce, I think. It was ringing up for like a dollar and change in the app, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have such a big money maker. No, the rebates for it are only valid for the 22 ounce, which is this one right here. It's priced at $5.47, which is actually not bad of a deal because that's what these smaller bottles used to be priced at. At, so you're getting a little more bang for your buck. But anyways, we're going to grab the 22 ounce for $5.47, submit to Ibotta for $2 back, and to Fetch Rewards, check to see if you have an offer for $2 back as well. And then we can also submit to the coupons.com app for $2 back, making this free and a 53 cent moneymaker. We have a really easy deal here on the Bic Flex 3 disposable razors. They're $3.97 and we have a $3 Ibotta rebate for it, making it just $0.97. Cents. So super easy deal on that. I'm also going to grab the FDS body spray. They're priced at $2.66 and Ibotta has an offer for, it's basically 50% off, you get back $1.33, making the final cost just $1.33. I noticed a lot of clearance in the oral care section, including this Tom's of Maine toothpaste. They had it for just $1.35, and I remember that we have an Ibotta rebate for $1.20 back on this, which makes it just $0.15, cents. but then we also have a $2 cashback offer on the coupons.com app, and it shows a picture of Colgate, but if you read the fine print, it also includes Tom's of Maine, so submitting for that as well is going to make this free and a $1.85 moneymaker. We're also going to grab the Chic Intuition Bamboo Razor for $5.97. There are two separate offers attaching to this in Ibotta, one for $3 back and one for $2 back. So if you get both of those back, it's going to make it just $0.97. Cents. If you're not comfortable with doing both of them and you just want to submit for the $3 rebate, it will make it $2.97. This went all kinds of wrong for me, so I noticed when I was at the store that a couple rebates popped up for Rimmel Cosmetics, um, $2.30 back on the lip product, and then $1.60 back for the face product, so I came over here to scan different ones in the Walmart app to see if any of them were on clearance, and I found this lip gloss, it was ringing up for $2.39. So I'm thinking $2.39, I'll get $2.30 back, makes it $0.09, cents, and it counts as an offer towards my bonus. And then I also found this bronzer for $2.39, submitting for $1.60 back, makes it $0.79. Cents. Unfortunately, though, when I went to the register, these rang up full price, so I'm going to end up just returning these and taking these out of my haul. So now we're going to grab some Persil detergent for $4.94. I have a $2 paper coupon that came a couple weeks ago in the inserts, but if you don't have this paper coupon, you can submit to the coupons.com app for $2 back instead. Then we're also going to submit to Ibotta for $0.50 cents back, making it $2.44, which makes it half off, so I don't think that's a terrible deal. 
Then we're also going to grab some Purex, starting off with the Mighty Packs. It's the 58 count. At my store, it was tagged for $7.97, but in the app, it was ringing up for $7.08, so I thought it was going to be a little bit cheaper, but it ended up ringing up for $7.97, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so we're going to grab one of these, and then we're also going to grab one of the liquids, the 57 load. You can get the regular blue bottle, but my store didn't have that in stock, so I'm going to get the free and clear. They're priced at $4.97. So the both of these ringing up full price total as $12.94. We're going to pay that at the register, submit to Swagbucks for $5 back when you buy two, and then we have two separate Ibotta rebates, $1.50 back for the liquid and $3 back for the Mighty Packs. And that's going to make our final cost just $3.44 for both or $1.72 each. I don't think that's bad because these are the bigger packages of the detergent. And look what my store has in stock. I tried to do this deal last week and they were completely wiped, but they have them now. So I'm going to grab it. It's the Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner. They're $1.97. We have a 50 cent off paper coupon that came in the 2-6 Smart Source. So we'll pay $1.47 for this and then submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back, making it just 97 cents. We have an awesome deal on the Mountain Dew Spark 12 pack. Now at my store they're priced at $5.68, but I have seen at other stores that they're on rollback for $3.98, which would be an amazing deal. But I'm going to go ahead and grab this for $5.68. We have a $2 Ibotta rebate for it, and then I also have a $1.50 offer on Fetch Rewards. So $3.50 back total, making this pack only $2.18, which is still a bomb deal for a 12 pack of soda. But if your store has them on rollback for $3.98, your final cost would be just $0.48, cents, which is insane. I was hoping to grab this freebie for the Coca-Cola coffee, but it's only good for the mocha flavor and my store didn't have it. But if you can find it, you can pick it up for $1.88 and get $1.88 back on Ibotta, making it totally free. Next up, we're going to grab a couple of the Nabisco products, starting off with the Ritz Toasted Chips for $3.28. I'm going to get the sour cream and onion flavor. And then we're also going to grab a pack of the Triscuit Crackers, which I just realized that if I would have picked up the original, those are only $2.56, but I grabbed the flavored ones that are $2.98, which is still a pretty good deal, but if you get the original, it's going to be a little bit cheaper. So the two of these products is going to total us $6.26. We do have a 75 cent off two paper coupon from the 1-9 Smart Source. So after that, we're going to pay $5.51, then submit to Ibotta for a dollar back on the Triscuit and a dollar back on the Ritz, which is counting as two rebates towards our bonuses, and it's going to make our final cost $3.51 for both or $1.75 each, which I don't think is a bad deal. I've had this offer on my Shopkick for a while and I just haven't done it yet. It's on the Honeysuckle White Ground Turkey, the 85%. They're only $4 at my store and I have an offer on Shopkick for 520 kicks back, which is equivalent to $2.08, making this only $1.92. We also have an Ibotta rebate for the avocados from Mexico. Now at my store it said they were 94 cents, but they rang up for 88 cents. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up three of these, and that's going to bring us to $2.64. We're going to submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back when you buy three. Makes it just $2.14 for three of them, or 71 cents each. We have a really hot deal on this Fresh Craving Salsa. They're priced at $2.98. We have a 50 cent Ibotta rebate. $1.50 offer on swag bucks for when you buy one and 88 cents back on checkout 51 so that's going to make it just 10 cents for this salsa and that is all we're picking up today from walmart i feel like we got a good amount of stuff so i'm going to take this stuff to check out and i will see you guys in the car so we can go over how much we paid and how much we're getting back from all of the rebate apps okay so we're back out from walmart it was a little crazy and they're trying to scan products in the store because i couldn't get my internet on my phone to work the data, the Walmart Wi-Fi, it was just being super slow. It definitely took me longer in the store to scan um, for the Walmart prices in the app, scan for like the Ibotta app and all that, but we got through it. Now, I'm like so annoyed because I just got in the car, scanned everything into Ibotta, then I go over to the Swagbucks app to take screenshots of those offers for you guys and to scan my receipt. And I noticed that one of the offers for the Armor All 
went up and I did not notice this and I don't want to go back in the store right now but I'm probably going to come back soon and grab this deal. It's for the Armor All car wipes. The rebate was four dollars back when you buy two. Now it's seven dollars back when you buy two. So and I think the cheapest ones at my store are priced at four thirty two. So if you buy two of them, you're gonna pay like eight something and then get $7 back. It makes them like 87 cents a piece, which is a good deal for some car wipes if you wanna grab that. Okay, so on to how everything went in the store at checkout. I'm not sure what's going on with the Walmart app because it does not seem to be accurate. First of all, the Rimmel products that I was buying, the lip gloss and the bronzer were both ringing up in the app for $2.39. And the Purex, the Mighty Packs, they were ringing up for $7.08. They both rang up full price. The Purex rang up for $7.97, and then the Rimmel rang up for $3.97 a piece. For the Purex, it's not really that big of a deal, but for the Rimmel products, I'm just gonna take those off my receipt and subtract them from my total and return them because I technically did not need those rebates. I didn't realize it, but I had a total of 17 rebates and I only need 15. So. I'm just going to return those. I did not accept the money back for them on Ibotta. But other than that, everything went really good. My coupon scanned. I only had three of them, which was kind of nice. So subtracting the Rimmel off, it was $57.58 plus tax. Okay, so I scanned my receipt to Ibotta, got back $23.03 for the offers that we did. It was 15 offers total. And then because I did 15 offers, I'm going to get back the $10 bonus and the $5 bonus. Then I scanned my receipt to Swagbucks. The Purex went through just fine. I got back $5 for that, but not the $1.50 for the salsa. So I had to request a review um, because I got the correct salsa. It should have gone through. So they should give me the $1.50 for that. Then Fetch Rewards, I got back $2.43, which was just for the degree and then like regular points. They did not give me the $1.50 for the Mountain Dew. So I had to correct my receipt and they should give that to me as well. Then Shopkick, I feel like this is a lot. We should be getting back $2.08 for the turkey and then $4 from the coupons.com app. So if we take all of that from what we paid, that makes everything that we got today only $3.04. $3.04. I feel like that is amazing. We got ground turkey, avocados, salsa, crackers, um, laundry detergent, a 12 pack of soda, three bucks, that's good. That is good for everything that we got. So I'm really excited about that. So that is all I have for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed it and if it was helpful, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Leave me some comments below with what deals you're finding at Walmart this week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out.